Well, what's up everyone? Welcome to this glorious Sunday afternoon out in the fields. The uh, reason we're up here today is we're going to check out this quad. This is the uh, Oddity RC XI20 Pro, a little uh, 4S 2-inch uh, cinema up. So we're going to have a bit of a fly around and see how it goes. Well, regulars to the channel will know I'm a big fan of the 2-inch uh, cinema up category. I've got a Pavo 20, which I absolutely love. Well, that's a little 3S thing. It does struggle in the wind slightly. Now with this being 4S and a little bit heavier, I'm hoping that it handles a lot better in the wind. Now, Oddity RC did send me this, but it wasn't the full kit. It was what's called the power combo, which is the uh, frame and motors. So what we'll do now, just before we get flying, we'll nip back home. Uh, we'll have a little look at the desk. I'll show you what you get in the box. Then we'll come back to the field. And we'll take it for a rip. So let's go. So here we have the box. Nice design on the outside. Inside there you can see we've got our plastic bag full of all your bits and bobs there. And uh, we'll have a look at that in a sec. You can see that's my receipt, you don't want to look at that. Two frames you get in this box which is a bonus because you are bound to break one flying uh, flying little plastic whoops. And then your motors there, these are the uh, Spinny Boy 1205 5500kV motors. So we'll have a quick look at them. There you go, they do look nice these, they are oversized for something that's this small but I'm sure there's a reason behind that looking in your bag there you can see we've got all your little plastic bits your camera mount and uh, all three holder there we've got a foam pad for the bottom and a little plastic battery pad for the top we've also got a little Odyssey RC battery strap and your main carbon frame here I think this is two millimeters thick this frame and all your standoffs and screws and what have you some more 3D parts for your uh, receiver and stuff like that. And there we have the frame put together. Good looking little th frame this. All we've got left to do now is get some electronics in it. Well, so as you saw there, you get plenty in the box. Could, uh, I do like the addition of the spare frame. Because these are probably the one thing that is going to break if you do crash hard. But I mean, they are, it is really stiff. You know, I can barely deform that, just crushing it in one hand. And I do love the little uh, little Batman style canopy, little cat ears on the top, it looks amazing. Right, so what we'll do now, we'll, uh, we'll get our battery on, take it for a rip and uh, see what my thoughts are while we fly for the first time. Right, so the quad's armed, so let's take her off and see what she's like. Better put it in um, uh, angle mode before I go. Now one thing I've noticed straight away there, it's a lot louder than the uh, Pavo 20, but I suppose it is carrying a lot more weight and I am keeping the throttle relatively high maybe 50% 45 something like that but it seems to handle all right there's a little bit of wind it doesn't seem to be doing too bad with the wind blowing around Seems to handle all right with a little roll there as well. Same the other side. Let's give it a bit of a power loop. Oh yeah, no prop wash at all there. That's really good. Now like I say, this is just the power combo, which is just the frame and the motors. So the uh, all-in-one that I've got in it's the uh, Rush Blade F7. I bought that myself obviously, but you can buy this in a bind and fly which comes with uh, Oddity RC's own uh, well, it's definitely got their own all in one I'm not sure about uh, their own receiver but I will double check like I said I'll put all the links below to uh, where you can get the bind and fly and I'll put the build list of the parts I've got on this as well I'm going to go back to that hedge there and see if I can nip through that hole <laughs> so battery life doesn't seem too bad I've 3.8 on the uh, on the clock there. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Better go careful them power lines there are just nearly clipped. No, it seems to handle really well this. I'm presently surprised. Let's we'll see if we can get a juicy flick out of it. <laughs> we can as well. Not the best one you've ever seen, but still. Let's try that again. 
Hey, that's not bad at all. That, this thing handles really well. I was a bit worried with the weight, you know, with it only being a two inch that it was going to struggle, but tell you what, that handles fucking amazing. Let's try uh, the other sort of style it's designed for. Let's uh, slow things right down. You are slightly limited by your camera angle on this because of the canopy, but I mean, you can 3D print anything nowadays, can't you? And really uh, get things to exactly how you want it. Few flips and rolls there, starting to kill the battery. I mean, we're still at 3.6, and flight time currently at four and a half minutes. But I reckon if you just did this a nice steady cruise around, you'd probably get six minutes, maybe seven. I suppose it depends if you're using a high volt battery. Not really. I'm using a just a normal 4S 850. So this thing flies super well. Well, that flew rather well in cinematic there, bro. I thought it would. That's kind of where it's designed for, really. But it uh, kind of got me wondering. I wonder what it freestyles like, so... Let's have a little rip about with it and see where it goes like. <laughs> Holy shit, man, that thing rips. <laughs> that was not the best freestyle quad in the world, obviously, with it being a little ducted world, but fuck me. I'm pleasantly surprised at that. That kind of kind of goes all right. Not a lot of prop wash. It was a little bit, but, you know, you kind of expect that. But I think with the uh, the large 1205 motors only, only turning a two-inch prop, you know, it's got a lot of authority, so I think prop wash should be a minimal. Now, I've just got this on the standard bait flight 4.5 settings, but... If someone has got a tune out there, hit me up and let me know. I'd love to uh, give it a try, but yeah, really happy this thing goes. Well, so there we are. That was the Oddity XI20 Pro. Uh, I'm very surprised at that. I really, really liked it. You know, great little cinematic quad. Uh, and with it being such a small size, it's a great little one just to put in your bag, you know, and not take up a lot of room. A little pocket rocket, as I like to call them. So I suppose the question is, would I recommend you buying it? You know, yeah, really, you know, I think it's a fantastic little quad. It's, you know, I was a massive fan of the Pavo 20. You know, notice I used the word was there. This has definitely taken over. It's so much more stable outside, handles the wind a lot better. You know, same size props, but I think the uh, larger motors really do help and give it a lot more authority. And plus the extra weight, you know, takes a lot more blowing about when it wears more. Trust me, I know. So anyway, I'll put some links down in the video description. They're not affiliate links or all like that. They're just going to be links to Oddity RC's uh, website and Instagram page and stuff like that. So anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah.